Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2025.3 on VirtualBox. Okay, first go to Kali official website that is Kali.org. Then click on download or get Kali, both are same. To install on VirtualBox or VMware, we have to click on this installer images to download the ISO file. See here, the latest release is 2025.3. If you want to download previous versions, click on this our previous Kali Linux releases. Now see here we have the installed images. Select x86 64 bit and see here we have the two options direct and torrent. I am going to download by using direct method. So click on this download button. Go to, see download started. Go to download. See here its size is about 4.3 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because see here I have already downloaded in your case wait until download completes once download is completed then open virtual box if you want to install virtual box on your machine then search for my youtube channel or go through this video description how to install virtual box on windows or linux operating systems then click on this new button or go to machine and select new both are same to create a new virtual machine then provide the name I am giving VM name can be anything then select the location to store this virtual machine files and folders click on this is the default location click on drop down and select other then select the location where you have the NOS space then select the downloaded ISO image See once you selected OS change it to Linux, OS distribution to Ubuntu, but Kali Linux is of type Debian. So select Debian, then Debian 64 bit. Don't select the checkbox, then specify the actual hard hardware information. I am giving 4 gigabytes. Number of CPU cost to actual hard disk. I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then click on finish. See, this is the virtual machine summary. Still, you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, right click on it and select settings or select it and click on settings. All three options are same. So, you are okay with all the settings, select it and click on start or right click and select start, then start with UI. Okay, so click on start. Use up and down arrows and select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter. Select the language and click on continue. Select your location. See here the selected location will be used to set your time zone and also for example to help select system locally. Normally this should be the country where you live. Okay. See select location from this list. If your country is not listed then select other. I am going with United States then click on continue. Then configure the keyboard. I am going with American English then click on next that is continue now provide the host name or computer name later also you can change it then click on continue you have domain name provide the domain name otherwise keep it as blank and click on continue now create or set up user i am giving user full name as after schools click on continue this will be the username click on continue then provide the password for this user then click on continue see here all time zones are based on us because we have selected country as united states so select time zone from this list and click on continue and partition disk i am going to use entire disk so select first one and continue select the disk to partition and continue all files in one partition and continue. This is just confirmation. Select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and continue. Confirmation write changes to disks and continue. Select S and continue. Now software selection desktop environment by default it selected except if you want GNOME or KD Plasma you can select. Okay and optionally is already selected this you don't want like top 10 tools you can unselect it i'm okay with the default so click on continue
Install the grub bootloader to your, your prime mini drive. Select S and continue. Select the device and continue. See installation is complete so it is time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media to, so that you boot into new system rather than restarting the installation. Okay. So go to virtual box. See here optical drive is empty. If it is not empty click on it and select the remove the disk from the virtual drive. Okay, it is already removed, so go to virtual machine, then click on continue to restart. Now provide the username that you have created at the time of installation. And provide the password. Hit enter. Double click on it to maximize. To get the full screen. Now open terminal. Now verify the version. Mod slash etc os hyphen release. See, we have installed Kali Linux 2025.3. Okay, the first step after connecting to Kali Linux is we have to update the packages. sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade hit enter. Write the password of sudo user hit enter. Type it for confirmation and hit enter. This will take time. Go to applications. See here we have different sections. Okay, you can go through each of them and you can practice. This will take time. Okay, so in this video we have seen how to download and install Kali Linux 2025.3 on virtual box. Okay, for more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.